Welcome to our lecture online. Here's kind of a fun problem and we're going to have to work through some mathematics, some arithmetic in a way to get through to the answer. But let's read the problem. It deals with x-ray tubes and they tell us that an x-ray tube is operated at 1.24 million volt. The shortest wavelength of the produced photon will be and they give us four possible answers. So here we have to think about the principle. We have an, elect, an, an X-ray tube. In other words, that means that we're going to have electrons accelerated from the negative to the positive side across a gap. And the gap here consists of delta V equals 1.24 times 10 to the 6th volts. And so as charges jump across, and of course in this case electrons jump across to here, they will strike the positive plate and that will then produce photons, x-rays. So the shortest wavelength produced means the one with the highest frequency, the most energy, so that, what, that's what that means. So shortest wavelength means the highest frequency, that means the highest energy. That will be the case when all of this delta V is converted or the energy produced by the acceleration across the gap by this delta V if all that energy is turned into the photon 100% of it that would then be the maximum energy contributed to each of the photons so here what we have is we have the energy produced so the delta E is equal to and well maybe I shouldn't write delta E Um, so let's think about it this way. The energy of a photon is equal to the frequency times the O, or I should write it as H times F, Planck's constant times the frequency. And of course, since we know that the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, we can then write this as uh, C equals F lambda, or we can write F is equal to C divided by lambda. So this can be written that the energy is equal to H C over lambda. Okay, and then since we're looking for lambda, the shortest wavelength, we're going to write this lambda is equal to H C over the energy. And of course, to have the shortest wavelength, we must have the largest energy. So that's the concept here. That's the principle we're dealing with. So all we have to do is plug in the numbers. And so that means that this is equal to H. Uh, that would be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. That's Planck's constant times the speed of light. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The energy, since the electrons are accelerated across this delta V, that would then be in terms of electron volts. So it would be 1.24 times 10 to the 6th electron volts of energy. But notice that this is in terms of joules and meters and seconds. So electron volts has to be converted to uh, joules. And that would be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per electron volt. So the electron volts are canceled out and replaced by joules. Now, that should be one of those four answers. So how do you quickly do this without a calculator? Well, notice that here we have 6.6. There we have 3. 3 times 6.6 .6 is about 20. So this is approximately equal to 20 times 10 to the minus 34 plus 8 would be minus 26. In the denominator, we have 1.24 times 1.6. That's approximately 2 times 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 19, 19, that would be 10 to the minus 13, like this. And of course, 2 and 20, that becomes 10 and 1. And so that becomes equal to, let's go over here. So 10 times 10 to the minus 26 is essentially 1 times 10 to the minus 27. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 the other way around, 25. So here we have to be careful here. So 10 to the minus 26 times 10 is 10 to the minus 25 becomes bigger. And then in the denominator, we have 1 times 10, 10 to the minus 13, like this. And of course, this goes to the top, so this becomes equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12, because that becomes a plus 13, so minus 12. So this is the answer. So that means that the proper answer is, now notice that this is in terms of 
nanometers. And 10 to the minus 12 is picometers. Hmm. Hmm. So this, if we convert that to picometers, that would be 0 0.001 times 10 to the minus 9. So this is nanometers, and so it's 0.001 or 10 to the minus 3. So it would be 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 9 is 10 to the minus 12. And then the one that says 10 to the minus 3 nanometers, which is 10 to the minus 9 meters, then this here would be the correct answer. Answer would then be B. So again, simplistically thinking about it, we're giving the electrons energy by accelerating over a delta V, a potential difference of 1.24 times 10 to the 6 million volts, or 1.24 times 10 to the 6 volts, which then gives it that many electron volts of energy. We know that the energy of a photon is H times F, which is HC over lambda. We can interchange lambda and E, so the wavelength is HC over E. But since E is in electron volts, it must be converted to joules. Planck's constant is this, speed of light is this, and then by doing some quick approximation arithmetic, we can see that the answer is 10 to the minus 12, which can be written as 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 9, because this is in nanometers, and this is the number in front of the nanometers. And that is how it's done.